Well, the roosters are crowing and the sun's gonna rise soon. It's about time to get on the water and get after those big bass, y'all. But first, I'm gonna tell you about the sponsor of today's video, and that is Dollar Shave Club. Now, if you're a traveling guy like me and you're always running around to lodges and cabins and hotels and forgetting your razors, can get pretty expensive. Now, if you like paying a ton of money for razors and all the accessories and stuff like that and driving to the store, then go right ahead. But if you want to make life easy on yourself and be fresh and clean while you're doing your thing out in the woods and on the water, then sign up for Dollar Shave Club. It's easy, it's cheap, it's delivered right to your door, and if you lose a thing or two, no problem, you got more stuff coming in the mail anyways. Now I just got their shower and shave kit. Yes, that is officially what it is called. And it is perfect for this trip down here in Mexico because things haven't exactly gone well on the back end, if you know what I'm saying. So if y'all want to get signed up for this same box with the trial size versions of the shave butter, of the body wash, of the executive razor, that's not a trial size, that's the actual thing, replacement cartridges, and the one wipe Charlie's, it's all in there for five bucks plus free shipping. And after that, replacement razors and refill cartridges are only a couple bucks a month, so it's a heck of a deal. Go sign up, make your life easier. Link is down in the description. Now that sun is starting to rise, it's time to get out on the water and begin the first video of Lake Comandero. Big Bass, me and LFD. Let the games begin. Fishing freaks to a very, very special day here out on Ron Speed's Fishing Adventures on Lake Comandero. The reason it's so special, I'm back here with LFD. Hoping to break his PB this week. We're going to be here a few days, so hang on tight. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe here, and thanks for tuning in. You guys already know the gist of the lake. If you haven't seen the other Comandero videos, make sure you go watch them. We were here about a month and a half ago and it was good, very good. Big bass in here. He's looking to break his PB. We'll get into that later. Right now, let's get into some top water action while the light is low. Oh God, that's awesome. It's 20 feet right here, by the way. Yeah, these banks are very steep. Like right away, that was a big fish too. All right, going with the weightless plastic. Just got first bite of the day. Oh, smoked it. All right, we got a little something happening here. Second bite. They are uh, sitting pretty close to the bank. Of course, it's steep drops here. A little one. First fish of the day, and he's in the boat. I got him. Woo. He's a wild one. He might get eaten up there. <sighs> All right, broke the ice, Dad. Right. Don't want to give you the wrong impression with that fish. <laughs> but I promise you there's some heads in here. The first one I had on, I couldn't even turn. Ate it right at the surface. Little, little guy. All right, got a little something going here in these little bucks right on the bank. Another little one. They're loaded in there. That means big mamas are. Got to be a little bit deeper. You done with the fly? Yeah. <laughs> no net. No net. First little better fish of the day. Ooh. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Nice fish. Eat that magic shad. It's a male. Oh, 
a little bit heavier than I thought. There we go. That's pretty fish. Got him right at the top of the mouth there. Whew, a little bit deeper. Those little ones were eating it right on the bank. This one ate it probably about 10 or 12 feet deep. Good fish right there. See you, baby. All right. Okay. There we go. Hey. Yeah. I got to change it. This is when I like this magic shad, you know. A lot of people throw flukes. I throw them a lot too, but the magic shad's got a little diamond tail to it. It has a very slow, wide wobble, and I like it better for uh, pre-spawn and spawn if you want to fish something like that in the spawn. You can just fish it slower. It's more like a like a Cinco wobble. And I'm throwing that on uh, one of these really cool weights that I like from BMC. It's like a just a lightly weighted screw lock elongated hook. Perfect for these style baits. Ooh, a little backlash right there. A little backlash. Oh, fish ate it right there. I watched him eat it. Oh my gosh. That was cool. Just apps. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Commandero. <laughs> Woo. Man, that fish ate it like right on the bank in the tree and he swallowed it. Jeez. There's a, that's a little bit bigger than I thought when he first flashed on it. I thought he was like a two pounder. That's not a two pounder. Good, pretty fish right there. Good male. Yeah, that's a male here down in Comodoro. Okay, hey, I'm, I need a fluke. <laughs> I'm convinced. Good thing I brought an entire sack full of these <laughs> that I've been waiting to use for years. This color seems to be working. So When it just starts to sink, it just does this right here. And uh, it's a pretty pretty dead fire action they hit it pretty good the water's unusually clear right now so top water flukes weightless baits should be good because they can come a long ways to get it they can see it coming and that's typically when it's effective and you see this little ditch right here a lot of times that brings in debris into the lake and it piles stuff up right there and makes a good spot for fish to to hide in I hear a parrot. Yeah, parrot's way up there, guys. Pretty cool. Flying in pairs. Got him. First cast with the <laughs> bait change. First fish on Comandero. <laughs> it's a start, baby. It's a just, start. Just a start. It's going to be about that big this afternoon. There you go. Oh, there he is again. Let's be a little one. Yep. Let's see you, little boy. Go up. Hmm. There we go. A little deeper, Dad. A little deeper. The net first? Yeah, this one needs a net, probably. Oh, yeah. The bigger ones are out deeper. Yeah. Woo! There's a little better one there. Oh yeah, toadastic. How about that? That's a short and squatty one. Look at that mouth. Woo -wee. Okay guys, there's the first big one of the trip. Look at that big old mouth, big old eyes, the tail pretty beat up that fish was down there and eh, we're sitting in 27 I'm gonna guess that fish was probably in like 15 so all the small ones have been on the bank and I was working some brush tops out there in that little deeper water and this one went thoop, just loaded up on it big time pretty fish great fight followed the typical spawn pattern 
very good. These bigger fish are going to spawn in that little deeper water, I think, so. Typical Comandero fish, just taking off like a rocket. Whew. Okay, cool. man. It was good. That magic shad seems to be just crushing it. Love this bait right here for fishing really slow and just on that. That's a 16th ounce weight, so fishing it pretty slow. 25 pound fluoro on that medium heavy big sexy, seven foot four. All right, we're gonna let this beautiful one go right here down into the depths. Shad, a decent one. See if there's any with it. Thought I saw one, maybe not. There we go. Not bad. Oh, there's one. Oh, lost him. Nope, oh, it's a tiny one. A tiny mate. Man, I didn't double hooked. It is just so calm right now. I switched up rods a little bit. I'm throwing a 20 pound fluoro. This is actually uh, one of John's rods, the rigged rod, seven foot two, medium heavy. Um, and I got, that's the first fish on the gold right there. Actually, second fish. I just caught one. Didn't have my GoPro rolling. Um, and then I put on my other rod, 20 pound, 25 pound fluoro. I got a little quarter ounce swimmer head, uh, or not a head, but just a weighted hook with a little flasher on it. And I'm going to wait to throw that when we get a little wind. But it's just so calm right now. The, the stick baits, I think, are just going to be the key. I don't know if a Texas rig. We haven't really messed with the Texas rig yet, but this right here is so dirty in the water. I mean, you don't even have to do anything with it. You just throw it out. And you probably can't see the action here, but it just wobbles so good. There's one. Shallow. Right there on the brush line. I had a feeling we can get it back right there. Oh, he broke me off. Yeah, that was a large one. Damn, he took my hook too. Yeah, that was a tasty one there. I'm just really digging that hook, but okay. There you go. Dad getting in the game. I thought I had a bunch of weighted hooks. Apparently I do not, which I'm a little sour about right now. At least when it's calm, you can see your line jump. Hmm. Start to move. Yeah, that last flat was so light. That, that was very helpful.
Oh gosh, got it right under the boat. Still got it. Broke me off again. That was a big one. Mm. Yeah, that was a big one. I can tell by the way, it just one thump. Just doom. Sorry. Yeah. Line. I probably need to go back to that 25. We're just in the land of giants here. All right, fish and freaks, back in the game with my sun gloves. Back to my big sexy with 25 pound test. Broke that 20 off twice. And I know they're a good fish the way they thumped it. Especially that last one, I was working out a little bit deeper. It's in about 16 feet of water and it just went boom. Started slowly swimming towards, towards the boat. There was no tapping about it. So if we break off 25, then we're screwed. It's very small. What do you got rigged there? Is this a salamander Senko? Oh wow. Might be a better one there. Yep. That's a big one. <sighs> yeah. And he's got it down. Oh. There's a good size in there, eh? He had it good, right in the top of the mouth. Nice fish right there. Woo! All right, we're gonna let this beautiful one go right here, down into the depths. Dad's hooked up on the old Texas rig. Not a giant. But a nice fish. Well, they, sh they sure do make you set the hook hard out here, don't they? You know it. Because <laughs> yeah. I just watched you catch that eight pounder. <laughs> I don't think it was quite eight, but it was a good one. Another one? Yeah. Better one? No. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Hey, at least that's two in a row. Walla Monday? Yama? There, there are these things. Look at the tails on them. Walla Mondays, I believe is what they're called. They look kind of like a raccoon fox. What do you think about being in Mexico so far, Dad? Deep in the heart of Mexico. I've enjoyed watching you catch big bass and Kawala Mondays. <laughs> You need to catch a Mondo, man. I know. I'm working on it. They're uh, right now. They have uh, they've conquered me. First devil of the trip. Mine's smaller. Dad switched up to a little Ocho, I think. Just going slow. Another small one on the uh, the swimmer. We can just tell when it's a little and they just try to eat it. Just tap, tap, to tap, tap. Time to load up. One big fish out of that hole right there. I'm thinking though that that swimmer is gonna be key when it's windy. I really like that I'm able to throw that out and I can slow roll that through the treetops when it's windy. It's super hard to work that weightless bait. I, if I really need like a 1 8 ounce uh, weighted belly hook. That's perfect for what I want. Unfortunately, I can't find them. We're going to move to a different spot. I think Fernando said we were going to move up the river, uh, maybe find some more bluff walls. So definitely when the boat is sitting in 30 feet of water, we're getting bites, casting up to those steeper banks around that brush and rock. That has been key. And I'm glad, we, I'm glad we've established that pretty much right off the bat within the first hour or two of the trip. That way we can go experiment with other things and at least we have that to fall back on. Mm -hmm. 